to another video from Maths World Education and uh, in today's video I'm going to show you how to solve quadratic equations but by uh, factoring. Okay so I think I think we all know the generic uh, equation uh, if we've got something like uh, if we're trying to solve for let's say a x squared plus bx plus equals zero. If we're trying to solve for x, I think we all know what the quadratic um, formula is for that. Uh, solutions for x would be minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. But what we're going to talk about today, we're going to be talking about how we can actually uh, how we can actually factor without the need of having to use this formula here. Of course, this formula is good, don't get me wrong. If you've got a formula which is really complicated and you've got fractions to deal with and really uh, large numbers, but more often than not, it's it's also equally possible to uh, solve these quadratic equations uh, just by factoring. So what I'm going to do is show you some uh, examples. So let's consider, uh, first of all, the example of solving for x squared minus 49 equals 0. So first of all we know that um, we know that x times x is equal to x squared and we also know that 7 times 7 is equal to 49. So what we can do there we can split this into two separate brackets and we can put an x here and an x here and we've also got two sevens to deal with here. But you can also see that it's actually the difference of two squares. And there's also no, uh, you've also got no uh, separate x term in this equation here. So we can we can assume that uh, we're going to have, that yeah, should be a minus 49. So we're going to have a, a plus sign here and a minus sign here. And then looking at that we can see that x plus 7 equals 0 x minus 7 equals 0. So what we can do now, we can subtract 7 from both sides on here. And we can see that uh, these 7s cancel out, leaving you with x equals minus 7. In a similar way, we can add 7 on both sides here. And then we can add these two uh, separate like, equations together. And we can see that these sevens cancel out, and that leaves us with x equals seven. Let's try another example. So this time, let's consider something like this, where we need to solve for three x squared minus seventy-five equals zero. Now, first of all, what we need to do is to take out a factor. Here. We need to somehow try and get this x squared on its own here. So how do we actually do that? Well, we can see that there's a factor of 3 here. And what we can actually do, we can actually divide 75 by 3. And that's great because that means we can take out a factor of 3 here. And we can say, well, that's the same as 3 x squared. 75 divided by 3 is equal to 25. And that equals 0. Now, looking at this, looking at this term here, we can again see that that is the difference of two squares. So we can see that that is the same as x plus five. X minus five equals zero again. Why is there a plus five and a minus five? Well, there's no x squared term here, which means that any x squared uh, that you get from these two brackets will cancel out. And of course, you've got a uh, plus 5x and you've got a minus 5x there, uh, which uh, cancels out. So now we've got uh, x plus 5 equals 0. x minus 5 equals 0. And we can see by subtracting 5 from both sides, x equals minus 5. And from here, we can see that x equals 5 by bringing the minus sign over to the other side. Let's do uh, another example. And this time, let's uh, go over this question here. 
let's find uh, solutions for x such that 9x squared minus 64 is equal to 0. So again this time we can see that um, we've got factors here, we know that 3x times 3x is going to be equal to 9x squared and we can also see here that 8 times minus 8 is going to be equal to minus 64. So what we can do, we can use that information here to come out with two factors. So we've got a 3x here and a 3x here. Now which two numbers, should be minus, which two numbers times together to get 64 again? It's 8 and 8. Now because, again, you've got no x squared, you've got no x, uh, x term, here in the middle here, uh, any x terms in these brackets should uh, cancel out. Okay, so I'm willing to say by putting a minus 8 and an 8 there, that looks pretty promising, doesn't it? So let's just quickly check that over. 3x times 3x is equal to 9x squared. Minus 8 times 8 is minus 64. 3x, so I'm, I'm actually going to write this out here, so minus 8 times 3x plus 8 times 3x, but you can see that these two terms actually cancel out, so we back to where we started, which is great, which means that these two, uh, two terms here are correct. Now we need to solve for x, so by Writing this out, we can see that 3x minus 8 equals 0. 3x plus 8 equals 0. Now in the same way, what we can do, we can add an 8 on both sides here. And on this side, we can subtract 8 on both sides. So now we've got 3x equals 8. And on this other equation, we've got 3x equals minus 8. And now we can what we can do, we can divide 3 on both sides here and do the same on this other equation. So you can see now 3's cancel out and that leaves us with x equals 8 over 3. Again we can see that these 3's cancel out here. Uh, so that can be rewritten x equals minus 8 over 3. This time let's do an example of a, of, a, of a quadratic equation, but this time with an x squared, with an x term. So let's go for x squared minus 2x minus 15. Now what we're going to do? Well, what we're looking for, we're looking, let's look, at, let's look for factors here of um, minus 15. Okay, so minus 15. First of all, which two numbers times together to get minus 15? Well, we've got a 5 and a minus 3. We've also got a minus 5 and a plus 3. But if you add if you add these separate terms together here, 5 and minus 3, what do you get? Well, you get a minus 2. And that's great. That's exactly what we need here. So that looks pretty, that looks pretty promising, these two uh, combinations here. So let's go over here. So we've got an x and we've got another x. So we've got plus 5 minus 3. And again, we can say that x plus 5 equals 0. x minus 3 equals 0. Subtracting 5 from, from both sides, we can see that x equals minus 5 and x equals 3. go over another example. Uh, this time let's look at solving for x for x squared plus 3x minus 8 equals 0. Again guys, uh, be sure to pause the video and have a go at these problems. Uh, okay, if, um, if you're not sure, 
you don't have to pause it you can see how i'm doing at least for one example and then try pausing on the next example okay guys so what can we see here again we've got a factor of minus 28 uh, so we've got a number of minus 28 but we need factors that make up that value so what have we got first of all we've got one and minus 28 we've also got two and minus 14 uh, the number three does not go into 28 but the number four does uh, which we can see got minus seven here now um, if we try the trick is right you want to you want to add these two numbers up here this is the technique by the way you want to add these two numbers up here and you can see that's equal to minus 27 um, so that's not going to work and you want to make sure that this number here matches with whatever your x term is if that makes sense so again 2 minus 14 you can see uh, that's not going to work because you've got a minus 12 there so that doesn't work 4 and minus 7 again uh, is equal to minus 3 that doesn't work but you can see that the number is the same here uh, we're looking for a plus we're looking for a plus 3 here, aren't we? So, minus 4 and 7 looks pretty promising. If we add those together, we've got a 3. So, that's brilliant. So, we can use these two values here to put into the brackets. So, let's do that now. So, we've got an x, another x and x minus 4, x plus 7. Minus 4 times 7 is equal to minus 28, so that's good. And minus, minus 4x, minus 4x plus 7x is equal to 3x. So again, we're good on that term there. x times x, which is self-explanatory, is equal to x squared. So now we can see that x minus 4 equals 0, x plus 7 equals 0. Now, by adding 4 again to both sides, and we can subtract 7 from both sides here, we can see those uh, plus 4 minus 4 cancels out. x equals 4. Again, plus 7 minus 7 cancels out, and we've got x equals minus 7. Let's do one more example. So this time let's consider an equation which is a bit more bit more involved this time. Uh, a bit of a conundrum for you guys to have a go at. Feel free to pause the video. Eight x squared plus two x minus fifteen. Now, bearing in mind the techniques. Uh, which we have uh, used. Uh, what can we what can we do with that? Okay. So first of all, first of all, what do we know so far? We know that eight times fifteen. So you take this value here. And this value here. You know that eight times minus fifteen is equal to minus one hundred and twenty. Now the trick is what we what we want to do. We want to use the same technique as we did before. And we're looking for factors of minus 120. So first we've got 1 minus 120. Uh, and let's just keep going down the list. We've got, let's go for 2 minus 60. 3 minus 40. 4 minus 30. 5 minus 24, 6 minus 20, 8 minus 15, 10 and minus 12, minus 10 and plus 12. So best thing to do, um, you can see we want, we want a plus 2 here, don't we? We want a plus 2 from any of these any of these two any of these combinations of two factors here now one one 
just by looking at this um, first one here, 1 and minus 20, you know that's not going to work. You're going to get a very large number. 2 and minus 60 is still going to get a very large number. In fact, it's only up to about, I'd say here, when the numbers start getting close. So that should be a plus, by the way. 6 and minus 20, uh, so we got minus 14. That still doesn't work. We're looking for plus 2. 8 and minus 15, minus 7, that's not going to work. 10 and minus 12 is equal to minus 2. That's not going to work, but you've got the same number. So if you switch the signs and you've got a minus 10 plus 12 is equal to 2. Finally, we've got a match. So uh, the next thing to do now is to go back to this quadratic uh, equation here. And now we've got everything uh, that we need. We can say that is equal to 8x squared. And what we can do, we can say plus 12x minus 10x. Again, I've taken, taken those numbers from here and I've put it up to the top here. Minus 15 equals 0. Now what we can do is we can see here, uh, based off these uh, two terms here, that we can take out a factor of 4. And what we can also do is take out a factor of 5 between, uh, between these two terms here. Okay. So that's going to be equal to 4. 2x squared, because 2 times 4 equals 8, plus 3. Sorry, that should be a factor of 4x, even. Okay, I'll just rub it. 4x, 2x plus 3, minus 5, because so we've got the factor of 5 here. 2x minus 3. Sorry, 2x. Plus 3, because minus 5 times 3, or 0. Now, what do you notice about this, guys? You've got two factors here, which are the same. So what we can do now is to take, we can take a factor out now of 2x plus 3. And then we've got 4x here, minus 5. Now here, we've got uh, two separate brackets here and now we can finally solve for x so we've got 2x plus 3 equals 0 uh, so 2x equals minus 3 x equals minus 3 on 2 and for the next term we've got 4x minus 5 equals 0 which means that 4x equals 5 which means that x equals 5 over 4. And now we've got the solutions there for the quadratic equation. Of course, this isn't the only method. Uh, this isn't the only method that you can use to get uh, to get a factor. There's, there's, many, uh, there's many different ways. Like, in this case, a, a good alternative if you, if you were ever stuck. Uh, and if, 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 if any of this stuff here is confusing... Uh, a lot of you, then you can resort to the quadratic formula minus b plus minus uh, b squared minus 4ac over 2a and you would still arrive at these uh, same solutions just here. But I hope you find this other method helpful. Anyway, um, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe and tap that notification bell. We'll be coming out with more materials. In the next few days, few weeks, few months. Uh, if any of you have any burning issues at all, if you're looking on YouTube and you can't find any videos at all, give me a shout and I shall make a video about it or do my best to answer any questions in the comments. Okay guys, thank you very much and see you in the next video.